<coughs> la 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 hello guys what's up so i am back and guess what i have here i have a 2023 bmw uh with that what they call it passion red or racing red i have no clue what they call it but yeah this thing is uh it's a beast so let's go on for a ride as you see it has a big big screen Ooh, need to pop some gas i only have 31 miles left that's the good thing about bmw it tells me how many miles i have left on the tank so right now everything is stuck nothing has done that has been done to it so the exhaust is a titanium acropobic but it has a big you know the ugly catalytic converter there so if i accelerate it sounds like a pigeon check this out you see brr, brr. <laughs> i call it my monster pigeon ay, ay, ay. so let's check it out let's go see going back it sits a little bit tall uh, i smell like burnt plastic maybe it's uh he it picked up a bag or something and it he grabbed it on the on the headers i don't know i'll check it on later all right let's go i have the 360 camera there not on yet but uh we'll see i don't even know if the audio is good it's the first time i'm recording with this test so don't be so cruel and talk crap about my audio yet <laughs> all right this bike is very light like a very nimble and and the acceleration on it is like whoo it has a lot of power this bike and i have a red limitation on the bike because you have to put 600 miles on the tank i mean on the tank on the bike on the engine before you do the first service uh, and once you do the first service they unlimit your rep so right now i could only rep to 9000 rpms and after that the computer shuts down like i won't let me do more than 9000 rpms on the on the motorcycle so when the bike you feel it like oh my god it's gonna fly off then it shuts you down so <laughs> i see what you're doing there bmw is that you're trying to to uh make me fall in love and then break up with me you know you're like keep hurting me but i keep going back to you so yeah so yeah the camera is in the way but you guys can see the dashboard is big and then this thing has all the connections you know like navigation your media i can listen to the my music right now or the telephone uh you know on navigation i don't even need to put the mask but i put navigation and it tells me which street i'm on which is pretty cool you know right now here in the city of downey and i need to get to a gas station because i only have one line left you see there over there one line left so i should make it because the gas station is uh nearby here so let's see how it goes hmm, beautiful day today it's been raining in california like nasty for the past uh two three weeks so having been able to ride this i bought this bike like almost two weeks ago i think and i haven't even been riding it only a couple times and that's it all right let's go very nimble power jesus christ it's uh it pulls even though it has a red limitation it has very has a lot of low in power and then these numbers that you see went up crazy that's not on kilometers per hour that's in miles per hour this <laughs> this thing this bike has fucking crazy acceleration if if you open up but but it only limits you to uh 9000 rpms check this out holy shit <laughs> Ooh, can't get enough of that the acceleration is insane and it's probably because i'm a very short guy i'm only like 
I I think I'm uh, five feet and two inches or two inches and a half. So <laughs> I'm a very short guy and I only weigh a uh, hundred and and thirty. So I'm a feather on this bike. Claim horsepower, I think it says like two hundred five or two hundred ten, but that would be claim. Uh, on the dyno stock it might be different but still you know almost 200 horsepower for for a motorcycle that is insane to have so much power on a bike well not insane if you know how to handle it you know but for people that never never rode before in their lifetime and they buy this bike no this is not uh, a beginner bike it is very gentle on the throttle though, like uh, you open up smoothly and it goes and everything. So it is very gentle, it's controllable, but still it's too much power on the bike, you know. I mean, you could use it, <laughs> but you must know how to use it, or else you just buy the bike because it just, you just want to look cool riding it. But on this, on this motorcycle, I'm going to be taking it to the track and i'm gonna show you guys what this baby can do on the track you know because it, it also has more uh, more uh technology like a drift control there's a there's a steering angle sensor that it measures it measures your steering when you're going into the turn and so when your bike is going you know when you're going right and then your bike start your rear tire is going to the left it measures the steering angle of the bike so that way if you just want to open up throttle full all the way you can you know the 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 bike will literally save you pretty much where's the gas station did i pass the gas station i thought there was a gas station somewhere close by here let's see oh yeah it's over here Right now, I, I don't even hear the bike. It sounds like a de deadly pigeon. Brrr, brrr. <laughs> All right, gas station, where is it? Man, during the nighttime, the gas station seems harder. Oh, here it is. All right, let's see. All right, yay, we made it. We made it to the gas station. So yeah, so yeah, this is how it looks on the the bike on the light. The bike looks insane. Look at that. The light is so aggressive. Whew. All right, let me pump gas and then I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so we're back. Yeah, so we're back at it again. And all right, let's go. It feels good when you have a full tank of gas. Now it tells you right there, ooh, full tank. Or you could change it to tell you uh, how much mileage you have left on the tank, which is pretty cool. Let me see. I stop over here. You see, total 292. I only have 292 miles on the bike. And the trip one. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Six. Nah. Ah, uh, where is it? Ah, uh, where is it? Ah, too late. I need to go. <laughs> <coughs> all right so let's see if i can find it psi no intake there you go that tells me that tells me right there that i have 150 miles on the tank which is not bad you know 150 miles that's pretty good right there see on the top and uh, right now i hate this this I'm gonna hate this ride there's gonna be a lot of traffic so yeah it's gonna be a boring ride to go home oh yeah yeah 
Team 7, I don't know what Team 7 is. Will he be Umbrella Corporation? I don't know. <laughs> Wow, this bike feels completely insane. You know, the Ducati, the Ducati that I have, the I have a 2022 Ducati V2, and that bike has some balls, but uh, it has a lot of torque, but this one, it's just ridiculous. This bike is ridiculous on the on the torque, on, on the bike. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, this is the only thing I don't like about uh, California. Too much traffic, too much people, too much of everything, you know? I do love the canyons though. That's the only place where that California has a lot is the canyons. I went to Texas one and, uh, you know, to Houston in Texas. And I was driving in the freeway there. My eyes started messing with me. Like, I was hallucinating that that there was mountains around me because during the day California no matter where you drive you look around you and you see mountains you know you see the shapes of mountains uh, we're in a mountain area pretty much California and uh, in Texas there's nothing it's just a flat land and it was messing with me man like I started hallucinating like mountains in, in Texas it's crazy Man, this bike is so light. That turn, I took it like nothing. Very nice. Ay, 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 I hate. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this traffic. Welcome to Cali, boys. California traffic is the best. <laughs> I don't know if we're number one in traffic. I have no fucking clue. You know, excuse my language. There might be some... Uh, kids watching this channel that I barely use like I have not even uh, done anything in the channel for a long time so yeah ay 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 so much traffic you know what let me put my my emergency light so people can see me blinking and then they can politely move to the side unless they want to get their mirrors broken I don't know I don't think so, I'm not a violent guy, but uh, yeah, it's like, excuse them all. Oh, so much cars, so much traffic. Somebody should make a song about traffic to make it entertain. I mean entertaining while you're stuck in traffic. But this is the beauty about bikes, you know? You can still move uh, through all this traffic. And some people may get like, oh my god, like, it feels scary when you go into the lanes, splitting lanes. Well, California, you're, you're allowed to split lanes, you know? And it's by law, L-A-W. Talking about law, uh, if you guys didn't know, I represent a big law firm in California that uh, helps injured victims of motorcycle, car accidents, any type of accident that is not your fault, thank you so much, that is not your fault, uh, we can help you in the state of California, you know. The name of the firm is called JLF Firm, or Attorney Jeff is the same thing, you know, just kind of like the other law firms out there that it's one name, but they have several attorneys working for them, it's the same thing. So, uh, yeah, uh, I represent Attorney Jeff and JLF Firm, and I do a lot of motorcycle events, so... I haven't been doing that on the channel, but you guys will start seeing a lot more of the, of the things that, that I do in the community, you know, and to host rides, events, bike nights, you know, I sponsor bike nights, I sponsor riders, I sponsor a lot of things, you know, I've been blessed to have this type of uh, job that I created myself, and, uh, you know, I get to right for a living i get to have fun for a living you know later on i'll show you guys other things that i have going on in my life you know and um should be should be good so i will appreciate it you guys if you give it a, a like you know i'm not asking for a like but if you like it then do it you know if you don't like it 
they don't like it <laughs> you know I'm gonna keep doing my thing ay 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 there's a lot of traffic but this bike is so light and the acceleration you could get from this bike is like insane and it's not too wide you know this bike is not too wide of a bike it's you know decent decent width for a bike to be a 1000 uh the thank you the ducati though the ducati that i have the v2 it's a 955 so it's almost like technically a uh, a thousand cc's uh v twin engine it's very very narrow like it's smaller than than this bike but they both feel as light look at this idiot i uh uh, it has to be a BMW driver. Thank you for representing the BMW community, you dumbass. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Uh, it's not like I follow all the rules, but I'm not going in and out. I'm, at least I'm staying inside the, the lane and I'm trying to be inside the lane. But some people just don't move, don't care. They're not paying attention. So what can I do in that situation? Huh? Can do nothing. That's why I have my emergency light so they could see something blinking because right now my exhaust, nobody can hear it. It's silence. It's like, ah, uh, it makes me desperate that I don't even hear the sound or the cars don't even hear the sound. That's why it's scary to drive with a silent motorcycle. So when you ride bikes, you know, I always recommend you if you split in lanes, just turn on your, your emergency lights. Have something blinking you know because those lights are yellow and they're blink and that gets people's attention you know something like you see this car it moved to the left side and i always say thank you you know to those people that that are moved because they pay attention but when you're blinking it gets people's attention that oh there's something blinking when they look they know it's a motorcycle because they see the two lights blinking and then the light in the middle my bike the blinkers they're on the mirrors, you know. I still have the stock mirrors. The blinkers are on the mirrors. I'm thinking of doing something different for that. -hoo -hoo. Let's go. Yeah. One thing I like about this bike is the riding modes. You know, it has different riding modes. It has uh, sports, you know, it has, uh, I think, race. No race pro one two and three and then he has sports he has rain and i don't know i think he has users as well because i had an old 2016 bmw and that bike had all those modes you know it had race slicks or sports uh user and yeah it was it was pretty fun bike but this one has different modes but it's almost the same thing you know ay 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 I just don't like to ride I mean I don't like to ride when it's, there's a lot of traffic because at one point some cars may just cut you off and they're not paying attention and yeah you could have a really bad day with or like because of them you know so I never been into an accident and knock on wood, you know, knock on whatever I can knock <laughs> right now, but um, that's why I ride safe, on the, especially through traffic. This is not my daily bike, you know, I have the V2 as the daily, or I, if I want to go other locations and so on, but I just need to put miles on this bike so I can unlock the the first service and unlock the rev limiter into the bike and then uh, I can put an exhaust so people can hear me because literally right now they don't hear me uh, they can only see me and that's if they see me because you know most car drivers they don't pay attention much you know and I, I could and I cannot understand at the same time for example 5 p.m. or you know everybody comes up for work at 5 p.m. they're tired they had a long day you never know what they're being 
what they've been through in the in their whole day and they're just zoned out they're like zombies driving all right so we made it home so thank you so much for watching everyone you know what to do if you like the video you know if you subscribe we'll appreciate it and thank you so much and ah, i'm so tired can't wait to go home and just relax all right see you guys